Hey, Trevor here. Thanks for coming to my channel. So what I focus on is doing app and tech reviews for gadgets coming out, new applications, whether it's on your phone, your computer, whatever. Today, I'm gonna to be checking out Microsoft To Do. It's a new app that they released not too long ago. So I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, Microsoft To Do. I'm really excited about this app today. So let's go ahead and get this open. So the very first thing that pops up as soon as you open the app is this feature that they brought out called My Day. What this is, is a personalized view of tasks or to-dos that you are going to get done for the day. So this isn't a list, but rather a feature where it allows you to put different tasks from different lists, all focusing on that one day. So to give you an idea of how this works, let's go ahead and just type a few tasks in here, get an idea of how you can type them in and start to see this thing take shape. I'm gonna hit on this thing that we're doing for like kind of content creation since I'm doing a YouTube video, which is kind of cool. And I wanna create a blog post, kind of highlighting some pictures, talking a little bit more in depth about these features and why I'm excited about it. So we'll go ahead and add this in there. And I'll add a couple more here. So a book that I'm currently reading called Mindset, and it is by Carol S. Dweck. And then let's add one more in here. So company memo for the business people out there. All right, and edit. And I'll just throw a date out here for no particular reason. So as you can see, very fluid, really nice design, able to just type these tasks in here, these to-dos that I wanna get done. And it just works very, very smooth. Now, like I mentioned, this is your catch-all where this is now added to your my day and something that you're gonna be focusing on for that specific day. Whenever you create a task, it automatically gets added to your master list up here which is just your master to-do list. And we'll kind of dive into lists here in a little bit, but very easy. The next best thing I like about this view and this feature for my day is after each day, your my day is cleared, but it doesn't just necessarily get rid of everything. It actually have a, has a suggestion feature. It gives you these suggestions that you can then add to your my day as well by clicking these plus signs. Once you get those added, click done, and you can see your list grew and you have a new set of priorities they can focus on, which is really cool. Okay, the next thing I really wanna focus on is kind of diving into creating a task and the details of it. So rather than just kind of this being a catch-all with just a title, let's go ahead and show you what I mean by this. So create worksheet and we're gonna talk about life goals. That's something that everyone can most likely relate to. So once you create these tasks, you can actually come over here, click on them, and it pulls up an additional menu with a set of some more fields to kind of fill this out a little bit more. The first one is you can add it to your day based off your priorities and what you want to do there. You can obviously remove it from your day since this is the list I'm, I was currently listing it in. So I'll go ahead and keep it in my day. This is kind of important. You can set a reminder. And then this brings up a notification through your app, whether you're on your phone, on the desktop, it works very nicely to be able to remind you. So we'll just go ahead and put this for later today. You can also actually come down here and be more custom. So I will choose today and we will go at 11.30. You can see this very nice design, very fluid, very easy to follow. Keep it in the AM. Save that. It also has a due date feature, which allows you to set a due date for this. So you can go today, tomorrow, next week, just some suggested quick action buttons there. You can also come in here and choose a date as well. So I'm gonna have this done by tomorrow. Save this. You can also create a repeater in case you have some tasks that you do like on a more regular basis, whether that's weekly, monthly, weekdays only. You can also create a custom reminder where you can choose these days specifically and then save that. I'll leave the repeat off. And then the last field allows you to add some more specific details about this task to really help you get things done. 
And I really like this feature because you can add a pretty broad idea, just like I did with creating life goals or whatever, and then come in here and detail that out a little bit more. So we'll type in physical health. That's a good section. Diet, workout, schedule. Next, we'll focus on a career for the business-minded. I'm just filling some of these things out so you can get an idea of how it looks afterwards. Family is important, right? Time, activity, quality of time spent with each other, very important. Education for the students as well as everyone else just continuing to grow their skills. Which is great. And then lastly, just to fill this thing out, personal business is for everyone doing the side hustle. All right. So go ahead and save that. And you can see it just keeps it in a very nice format. It continues to expand. So you can add quite a few notes in here. So very cool detail section. Once you're done, it automatically saves for you. Go ahead and click the dismiss the detail view. And then you're all set. The notification to show that you have some additional details is it automatically just shows right underneath the to do's title. So you can see that I have a due date of tomorrow. I have a reminder for today as well as you can see a little note notification showing that I have some notes in here that I can go and take a look at just at a quick glance. The other thing I like about this detail section is it, sometimes it can be a little complicated and a little chaotic, we'll use that word, with these different to-do apps that you can get into. I like this because there's four fields here, five if you include the title. So you can come down, click a reminder, set a due date, repeat obviously if you need to, and then also just make some quick notes, which is awesome. Now that we're done with the detail view of the tasks themselves, let's move on to the next feature, which is the lists. So creating a list is easy enough. Come over here, click new list. I'm just gonna create a couple here. So one will be for school. It's very common, I'm sure. We'll add another one for health. Some health goals here, some health tasks. And then let's do one more for books. Okay. So once you create these lists, you can come in here and add some tasks. So for school, and then let's buy some books. School supplies, it's important. You can also come and look at other tasks that you've already created and maybe you just wanna organize them because you're just doing that kind of the catch-all idea that I mentioned before. So, Let's go over here, I've got this English report, right? So if I right click, I can come down here and click move to do, and I can go choose whatever list I just created to do. So I can add it this way, which I'll show you. And then you can also go and add another way. So we can do homework, study for two hours. Go ahead and click, drag and drop, which is really easy and nice, very fluid. You can see the design, the, the smoothness of the application, which is really cool. And then once I'm in here, there's a couple other things. So once I get some tasks in here, start to fill this thing out, makes it look really nice. I got some things I can go do. There's a couple features for the list that I can come up here too. So number one, I'm a pretty big um, UI guy. So I like to kind of make sure the user interface looks nice. It, look, it feels clean and fresh. It's like exciting to use. That's a big thing for me. So one thing that I really like what they did is they created these themes you can come here. So a few different colors, which look really nice and vibrant. So for right now, since we have the fall upon us, let's go ahead and choose this nice red and orange type color. Then they also have some really cool backgrounds you can choose from. So has this mountain range, the space needle looks really cool. This beach vibe airplane a little house out there and or just a plain theme depending on what you want to do so I'll keep with the mountain range looks nice you can also rename the list easy enough 
can come in here and add an emoji. And then a couple of things based off these lists is you can use this option to show your completed to-dos, which is something I actually like to do, and I'll show you why. And then you can also choose a lot of different sorting options, which this is a really cool thing. So depending on the type of person you are, I usually sort by the creation date because it kind of falls in line with my train of thought with why I added that. However, with some of these lists, specifically actually school, maybe you'd like to sort it a little bit more by due date. Um, or maybe you want to sort it by uh, if it's added to your day or not. That way you can kind of prioritize things. And once you switch that, you can come up here and flip it. Obviously, going from ascending to descending, depending on what you want to look at. And like I mentioned with showing the completed to-dos, once you complete something, it'll keep your sorting, but it'll show that that one's been done. Have a very nice, satisfying little ring there. So very cool. I like the sorting feature. It's very nice. The other thing that is good with these lists, pretty normal, but you can come over here and right-click on these things. You can do a rename. You can even duplicate this list. If we could duplicate this list, it'll come down here, do a school copy, keep everything that you've already had in there. Maybe you have a class that has some similar work items that you just kind of want to model after. It's really nice to be able to duplicate that list and come down here and start to curate it. All right, so now we're gonna dive in to these to do's. So if we come into one of these, there's a couple things. Number one has another quick menu. If you right click on this, you can remove, remove it from your day, mark as completed. You can even change some of these quick features without actually going into the details page, which is really cool. So you can choose it to be done today you can do tomorrow remove the due date if you like so a couple really cool quick features also mark this complete as well as by just clicking this button either way is fine obviously i've already showed you how to move these to different lists and you can even delete this very simply and easily if you like so very cool little quick menu and then after running through that that's really kind of sums up what this app's about just to kind of emphasize a few things again the big focus would be this My Day page, this feature that they've created. And you can start to see by filling out these lists, if you had to come in here to each one of these things and kind of see what tasks you have to do and then prioritize them based off those lists and then have to come into each one and mark those off, it's a great way to organize and some people really like that. I am digging this My Day a lot more because you can come and pull from all these different types of lists It'll actually curate this list for you so you can prioritize with what's most important. And then all these other tasks are still going to be there in case you want to go back and organize, run back through, and then take care of those at a later point. So I really love this new feature as well as the suggested tasks for you based off what you want to prioritize and organize to that My Day page, which is great. And... Overall, I feel like this is a really smooth app. I feel like slacking a few features, which um, I hope that they start to bring out. One of those is sharing some of these lists and sharing these tasks among other people, whether it's family members, friends, things like that, colleagues. Um, I think once they add those types of features, be able to share these lists, um, I think that will really kind of round out the fullness and the power of this app. But as it is, Still a great app, the one that I use every day um, to capture my ideas, run through tasks, get things done. It's been a great app for me. I've really loved it. I'm very excited about it. The continue updates and, and the fluidity of the app is very, very nice and very nice to look at as well. So I've enjoyed it. hope you guys really enjoyed it as well. You can check out the app and download this on any major platform. So you got it at that Apple store the Android store, as well as the Windows 10 store for any PC user out there. And so available on all fronts, as well as available online at todo.microsoft.com. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're into more tech and app reviews, definitely hit the subscribe button. So I'll be bringing out some more videos on this and it'll be awesome. And then 
feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. I'm really interested in what you guys thought about the video. And then also let me know about some apps and tech that you're into. I'd love to do a review on them and check it out. And then lastly, in the description, you'll find the link for Apple, Android, and Windows. So you can download the link and check out the app. It's one of my favorites again. And um, until next time, peace out, guys.